Hello, viewers, welcome. Let's see how best we can provide answer to this question. What's the January, February 2025 edition? This question 6B the top of a cone of a height 10 cm and the base radius of 7 cm is cut off by a plane parallel to the base. If the distance between the plane and the base is 3 cm, we are calculating the volume of the remaining object. If you take a cone and it is cut off, what remains become a frustrum or a conical frustrum. So let's see if we take uh, the cone by definition, right? So this is it. So if I have a, a plane which is going to pass through this, cutting it into two, we should be able to have this area cut off. Right? We can cut this one off. Now, they are saying that the height of the cone, meaning this is going to be a 10 centimeter given. Let's just put a centimeter here. Then we also have the base radius. The base radius is given to us as what? 7. So if this is capital R equal to 7 centimeter. I guess you can see, all right? Okay. Then, the moment we cut this one off, this also is forming a circle. So this will also have to have a radius, small r. Now, let's have a line from here. Remember, this line is the same as the 10 centimeter we had here, from the apex to the base, that is the height. Now, when this is cut off, what will be left, or let's just say, if this is cut off, I should be left with this is what we are calling the conical word frustrum, 7 centimeter, and here R word centimeter. This is what is left, because if the top of this dimension is cut off, radius is cut off, we are left with this. So if I am using the longest distance from the top, as h, which is the height, then this is going to be small r. If I pick this diagram from here, if I take out this line and this, whereby this is going to be the radius height, this will be a slant height, let's leave that alone. Then if I take the other distance from here all the way down, I'm having each right angle. This is going to be seven. We can see that this diagram, let me say A and diagram B, are going to be similar. So if they are similar, I can use by similarity and compare the size because I need to know the value of this R also. So I can say that by similarity property, comparing this, we can say that R divided by what? 7. I'm using this directly, which will be small r divided by 7. I am picking the r from the smaller diagram. Therefore, when I want to pick the height, I should pick from the smaller diagram. And the height is h divided by what? Uh, the longer side here, which is what? 10. So you can see in here, radius is unknown, which is my concern to find. The age is unknown, but we can see if there's a question in the something in the question that will help us. If the distance between the plane, here, yeah, the distance between the plane and the base is what? Three centimeter. Meaning from here all the way here will be three centimeter. Right? This place, three centimeter. So if here is three centimeter, the remaining should be. 7, meaning here will be 7 centimeter equals to what? H. So this will change position to become what? 7 also. So now R is the only thing needed to find. So we cross multiply. As you have 10 R, okay, let's put it this way. 10 R equals to 49. That make your R equals to 49. Okay, let me just say 4 like this to occupy, to manage the space. 
we are dividing both sides by 10. So R will be 4.9 centimeter. Okay. Now there are two ways by which we can find the volume. A direct formula and also step by steps. Step by step means that if this is a, a cone, a bigger cone, I can find the volume of that. Then find the volume of the one I've removed. Then I'll be left with what is left. This one. So the volume of the bigger one minus the volume of the smaller one will give me what is here. So I only say that volume of larger cone. Remember, it is also a cone. So it is one third of the volume of a cylinder. So pi r squared h. Can we do substitution? That will mean one out of three times pi, which we have been given as 22 on 7 times r. Since I am referring to this, as you use capital R here, you know, the bigger one, half capital R. So the capital R is 7. So 7 times 7, 7 squared. The h, which is the height here, this will also be capital H. And that will give us 10. All right, remember, this will be going here, 7 times, 7 times this, 70, 70 times this, divided by 3. Let's put that in our calculator and see what that will be. So that will be giving us 513.33 volume, so centimeter cube. Let's leave it in two decimal places. So next thing to find the volume, Of smaller cone and that will also be equals to 1 on 3 pi r square each we can use the smaller ones here now so by substitution 1 on 3 times 22 on 7 what is the radius which we found to be 4.9 so 4.9 all square times the height the height, which has already been given as what? 7. Remember, this 7 will cancel that. So, we should be having the volume to be 176.07 centimeter cube. So, volume, final answer. So, volume of remaining object, which is a cone. With in this case, we are going to call conical frustrum. Will be the volume of the larger one, which will be 51333 minus 176.07. Let's perform that and see. So that will be giving us 337.26 centimeter cube. So the volume of the remaining. Uh, object which is the frustrum is going to give us 337.26 centimeter cube. This is by step by step approach. The next, I will use the formula method also so that we can also get the same answer. All right, so by the formula, this is the formula method. If you want to know how the formula is derived, just visit the playlist on mean restriction 2. Locate how to derive the volume of what a frustrum. There is a video episode on that. You can check it out. So this is what we are going to have. Remember what we are looking for is this. So the age we are seeing there is the height, right? The capital R we are seeing here is the radius of the base. The small r you are seeing is the radius of the top opening. So if I do substitution, I should have 1 on 3 times 22 on 7 times 3. Remember the height is 3. Then that is going to multiply the radius here as 7 squared. This is plus. R is 7 times 4.9 plus 4.9 all squared. Remember 4.9 was the radius we found in the other side when we deal the step by step. So we can put all this in our calculator. Okay, let's say this will cancel this. So 22 over 7 
Now I'm left with 49 plus 7 times 4.9 will give us 34.3 plus if you have 4.9 times itself to be 24.01. Let's compute the terms in the bracket. So if you add all of them in there, you should have 107.3. 3, 1. Now let's multiply everything by 22 on 7 and see what the answer will be. And that will be giving us 337.26 centimeter cube. So either we first identify the fractum from the cone that will be truncated, what is left, no the height of the first room, know the base radius, know the opening radius. You can use the formula direct to find the volume. If not, you need to find the volume of the bigger cone, the volume of the smaller one, subtract them, and the difference is what gives you the volume of the conical first room. I understand the question is uh, simple for you. If not, check the playlist on Minstriction 2. Look for how to find the volume of what? How to derive the volume of the first room. And I'm sure you will get a tutorial, the in-depth understanding of how these formulas and all of them came about. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.